All right. Hello, everybody. I'm Christina Lynch, Costa member and member at large. And I'm here with our brand new Costa president, Tracy Redden. And Tracy is going to answer a few questions about herself. Are you ready, Tracy? I'm going to try. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's your favorite food truck? Oh, tacos, hands down. What's the main reason you chose teaching? To help students because I felt like um, they really understood it when I explained to it. I was a substitute teacher for um, a semester before I came here. What courses do you teach? What courses do I teach now? Uh huh. Um, now I've actually uh, just recently started teaching the differential equations and linear algebra since Ross retired. And I'm absolutely loving it. So I wish I would have jumped in like 10 years ago and done it, but. Differential equations, better you than me. <laughs> uh, what's your proudest non-teaching accomplishment? Okay, so uh, the thing that comes to mind is uh, about, I don't know, six or six years ago, seven years ago, I really um, started pushing, um, going, let me think about this. I basically created the middle school map for Visela Unified Boundaries when they built their new middle school. Um, I didn't get paid or anything. I did it as a parent. <laughs> so um, I basically, basic, they put out some maps and I told them what I didn't like about them, how they were not uh, very racially integrated. And so I'd say that was it. <laughs> That's a great accomplishment. It, it was a lot of work. <laughs> I bet. Uh, what's something most people don't know about your past? I don't um, talk about it a lot because, I mean, this was my childhood, but uh, I lived in Saudi Arabia for about seven, eight years growing up. So wow. <laughs> it's nice because Facebook has uh, gotten us back together with that group. <laughs> what's your Watch It a Thousand Times movie? Watch It a Thousand Times movie. Oh, Princess Bride. I like that one. <laughs> Excellent choice. What's your late work policy? For my students, uh, okay, so I am changing it this year, but I would always say no homework, no late homework, but I would accept it for some. And so I did the ETI this summer and they say, that's not really fair for all your students. So I've changed my policy and I, I allow late homework, but they get half off. And now um, I'm gonna drop two of my lowest. So if people don't turn it in late, they'll hopefully do better because of that. And what's your absence policy? I have um, an absence policy. It's funny how it came about. Um, I, you, if you miss about six classes, I can drop you. I reserve the right to drop you, but you should, you know, if you stop coming, you need to drop yourself. Uh, funny story about this. Uh, I didn't have this policy and I was about 27 years old when I started here really young I you know I was small so I looked like the kids and I had the football team in one of my classes and <laughs> they were a handful <laughs> they, they I was kicking them out one at it every day I was kicking someone out because they would just sit there and talk amongst themselves <laughs> and so I think I even got a nickname um like I was Gustafson at the time and they called me uh, Gestapo <laughs> so I couldn't kick any of them out for permanent for you know missing because I didn't have an absence policy. <laughs> so I don't kick people out because they're absent though. I just that's reserved for uh people like them, which I've never had that problem <laughs> since. <laughs> What's one piece of advice for your students? Uh, come to class, <laughs> read the do your homework. <laughs> oh that's too sorry. Do you have pets? I do. I have uh, a little dog and we got a little kitten. Um and I had a, I have another dog that I let my sister uh, hold on to because she walks him like an hour every single day. And with this new role, I can't do that. <laughs> on Sunday, do you hike a mountain or kill zombies? Mm, I love hiking, but I do love watching the show. So I'm like, can I do both? <laughs> yes. What's your favorite recent teaching moment? A good teaching moment are we talking about? 
Well, I don't know. I really did enjoy teaching Calc on Zoom this summer. Um, it, I don't know. I don't have, <laughs> I can't think of one that stood out a day recently. <laughs> Where would you go for a long weekend? For a long weekend? The mountains. <laughs> Do it now or wait until the last minute? The oh, last minute. Comes on. <laughs> Other career you'd pursue? A uh, lawyer, because I actually wanted to go back and get that on top of this just to be more knowledgeable, because I often need, you know, need the resources of a lawyer to help people, because I do like to help people. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite anxiety reliever? Watching uh, Netflix uh, all day long. <laughs> One inanimate object you take to a desert island. A tablet. <laughs> Favorite thing about your job? That I get to help people, students or faculty in my role here. Office decor, minimalist or maximalist? Minula minimalist. <laughs> but I don't know if that includes the stacks of papers that I uh, try to get through and toss. <laughs> Biggest obstacle you would remove for students if you could? Biggest obstacle for students. Access to uh, money to so they don't have a $150,000 loan at the end of graduating. Of course not CLS, the four year. <laughs> Best thing about being a COSTA member? That well, we're trying to make it fun. So that's what we're doing here. So, and we, we're now we're, we can get to know our members this way, hopefully learn more about them so we can talk more when we pass them by. Perfect. Thank you so much. Well, thank you for having me. <laughs>